Or that's three. Hello, Dracon. Hello, Just Boxer. That one looks interesting. Hello, everyone. Asma's ache. It's the chaos gate without losing health. Lessons from it's... chaos have twenty percent chance to be rare or better. It's it's the what, Jonas? I said it's the burb. Oh, Discord didn't like you saying burb. It did it? Did it not? Is burb a bad word? I don't know. It didn't come through. <laughs> did he get his burb on? <laughs> Can't believe they're censoring burb now. What's it coming to? Burb is a good word. Okay, I have three keys. I'm going to try the sword again. Stigius, blade of the underworld. I need your strength. Oh, no classy! Go sword. Dude, dude. Oh yes, I missed this music already. That's all right. There's a bit of static coming on your end. Yeah. Is that? Is that me? That's not me. Is it? No, that's Rick. Oh, it's Rick. Okay. There we go. That's better. But the other ones will have faded choice on them. Cheers, Uncle. Cheers, Uncle. You're nothing. Rude. <laughs> Might as well. I have my headset on after I smacked myself in the face with it. Ooh. Nice one. I have dropped my headset more times in the last two years than I have any right to. Like, this thing should be destroyed by now. But Yeah, well, you know what, Jonas? You're not trying hard enough. <laughs> See, when I went to get my most recent headset at uh, my Hero Electronics store, mm -hmm. uh... They they got me. They had little like headphone hooks in the checkout aisle, and I was sitting there being like, "Yeah, you know what? I could use one of those." And you know what? I don't regret it. Ten dollars saved my head from some ever being rolled over or anything. <laughs> you know, I should get a stand. I really should, but uh, lazy. Also cheap. Lazy and cheap. Oh goodness. Mm -hmm. Terrible combination. Yeah, you only get your choice of two: fast, cheap, or uh, quality. Furious. Yeah. Oh, right. Yes, that too. Fast, cheap, and furious. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, I need. How's everyone doing tonight? Pretty good. Um, doing good. So yesterday, Chad was asking what our favorite gods are, or what our favorite characters in the in game. This. Um, yeah. Everyone was saying Stoker's would be Aphrodite and. I mean, listen, it's hard to beat that outfit. 
<laughs> you know, let me let me pull or lack up. thereof. Let me pull exactly. up exactly all of them because I don't I don't think have we met all of them. My blade grows. Oh, thanks. So. Uh, no, we've definitely not met all the characters. Uh, I'm trying to think what well, gods are missing. Like a sonic gods. Uh, oh no, there's definitely one we're missing. Uh, that's Thanatos. Oh, apparently and now that's a good one. <laughs> Everybody uh, loves the no, Death we God. You haven't seen Thanatos yet? No. no. You have not yeah, seen I, Thanatos, I, I, and we have not seen... There are also several characters that aren't gods that we haven't seen. I kind of like... Um, I, I, I kind of like Karen, because he's just... <laughs> but, um, that does seem up your alley. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um... Cerberus is pretty cute, although I don't know if Cerberus counts as a proper god, or if Cerberus is just like a no, I don't think god was. level thing. Um, That's one more. His own thing! <laughs> um, and the three heads are part of it! <laughs> yeah. I kind of like Dionysus. He's kind of, uh, he's kind of cool. Yeah, Dionysus yeah, is the one I said. Too. Of the gods, Dionysus is my favorite. He'd be fun to party with. <laughs> As uh, many have observed over the ages. <laughs> but yeah, probably Karen. Psychopomps. Oh, Jonas, if uh... you have uh, background music playing for any of this, you could definitely go look up uh, Cult of Dionysus by the Orion Project. Very yeah. good song. Uh. Exactly. Did you mean the Orion experience? That sounds right. Okay. I don't. I didn't remember what the third word was. That sounds Orion. See, you see what I did there. You see what I did there. Do you see? Do you see what I did there? Yes. It was all right. Mm. Hey guys, what do you do there? <laughs> Boxer says, that reminds me, Stoker, can I get a staple from you for this? For this? He clipped something. Oh. Next. Alright, hang on, let me see what he clipped. Clipped for Stoker. Oh boy, this ought to be good. Oh. A man can only be... <laughs> Uh, you know what? Am yes, I, I'm mistaken. I, I, okay, listen, listen. Yes, but <laughs> also no, but also yes. Well, that clears it up. Well, I'm here all night. Why do I pay these wretches? No, <clears throat> Good enough. I agree, GC. Okay. Get your rock on. I'm sorry. Pardon? Get your rock on. This is the rock music. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> what do you think oh, I said? People. You said get your rock on. Ah, uh, <laughs> of course. What am I speaking to? I forget. Rocket stone! Okay. okay. Rocket stone, Emma. Mm -mm. Enough. Enough. Into for the past I love Artemis' design. I will say that. Bucket, that is, that thank is. Thank you. I thought he was really cute when we came up with him. Did you think? <laughs> See, it's funny because that's the name of Penny's werewolf boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Airwolf boy mit uh. Airwolf boyfriend sounds like, sounds like one of those band names. Oh yeah, one of those. Yeah, one of those. 
totally one of those. Werewolf, boy werewolf boyfriend sounds like a thing you'd call your werewolf boyfriend. That's My really god. Yeah, I guess I'm not good at us. this. He's on oh. to us! Too abstract, Miller. <laughs> yeah, who's gonna know what that means? Only, only werewolves. Only werewolves. Onlywerewolves.com. <laughs> My, uh, <laughs> the, the special website. <laughs> You're a special website. I am a very special website, thank you. Just seeing the commercials for OnlyFarmers.com, that definitely feels like something they would do for April Fools. Only Farmers? Oh, have you never seen that, Jonas? Uh, no. It's a dating website. Guess who it's for? Mm. I have no idea who's it hey, for. Hey, folks, just don't get it. It's only for farmers, Jonas. <laughs> Amazing. Do you remember when I was talking about uh, only flans and it turned out someone had actually created that? I mean, yes, I know it's pronounced flan, but bear with me, okay? Oh no, don't Not let true me stop Mexican. you. Mexican, how dare you? <laughs> and the whole site was just nothing but pictures of flans. It was great. 16 stars out of 10. Yeah. That's amazing. It is. Thank you, I made it myself. Hufflepuff. Don't think you did. <laughs> Are you calling me a liar? I'm calling you a scoundrel and a thief. Ooh, I'm ooh, calling slap, you a liar. Slap him, with the, slap him with the glove. Slap him with the glove. Just take that off the glove and then just smack him. This is a Don. This is a Don. <laughs> what the cat said. What the cat said. <laughs> He's very, it's like you think uh, pistols can't solve anything these days. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how disagreements were settled in the old days? Pistols are done? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> You know what they say. Stoker, if anyone faces, they... and then turn at the ring at noon. Yes. <laughs> Stoker, if I knew what they say, they they wouldn't have to say it. That's true. Yeah. Checkmate atheists. Checkmate atheists. When Pistol starts afraid, the other pistol goes away. Yeah. <laughs> I just made it up. <laughs> Hold down, GC. I yeah. didn't ever guess. I'm, <laughs> I'm so whimsical. You are. <laughs> you are, GC. You are you are the whimsicalist. Yes. And you can quote me on that. I wonder if people I wonder if it's part of my Scottish heritage I've been blocking. Whimsy? Blocking. I don't know. S uh, whimsy, symmetrical? Hmm. You're whimsical, Stoker's the pervert, I'm the... What am I? I'm the... I'm the You're both. I'm the <laughs> whirlwind of chaos. <laughs> uh, You're the Miller. whimsical pervert. Miller's the, uh, Miller's the bird. Um, yes, yeah, so no. that's all I am to you people. You're the bird. <laughs> I, I am nothing more than a bundle of feathers and a beak. You are. I'm what is a bird? You. What is a bird? A miserable pile of feathers. Oh, I mean, I'm just a green cat. Just Sorry, here can't... watching all this stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Miller, can't hear you over all those hollow bones. <laughs> the underworld is off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Fine, I'll just <laughs> dive bomb your house. Oh, you no. instantly. Did I tell the, the, the bird poop on your shoulder story? In the meantime, uh, uh, yes, this was, I believe oh, you did, yeah. actually. Did I? Okay, fine, yeah. I think. I could be wrong. It's happened it's once before. Funny Miller yeah, crashes through. Sorry. Go, go, uh, go ahead. Miller crashes through Jonas's house. It's basically Mr. Pilgrim to Jonas. It's Mr. Oh, Jonas. Gosh. Mr. Pilgrim. I am Mr. Miller Patel. Let our fight be gone. <laughs> Hello, Ray. Hi, oh, it's Ray. Hey, Ray. <laughs> what do you say? No.
How's it going in your place today? Doo -doo. That good, huh? Oh. <laughs> I was fixing my mic again. It, it, it's wonky. Actually, I, I know what you're talking. Yeah, it always Very... starts quiet when you join the call and then slowly sort of warms up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure why it does that. It's a good question. It's kind of old. I should probably get a new one. Yeah, jeez. Jeez, right? Jeez. Yeah. That's the word. Yeah. That is the word. Is the I've thought about. Yeah. I've kind of thought about getting a new one too. Mine's getting up a little bit beat up, but um, I don't know. I think we're probably gonna run this into the ground first. <laughs> Why not? What else is it there for? Yeah. Made it this far. No, you didn't. All right, fine. You've been dead all along. That was the plot twist. GC. Oh, no. What's up? I found the Pope. You found the Pope. Where ah. was he? That pesky guy. He's always getting I... lost. There's actually a teleport that takes you straight to him. I laughed when I found it. I'm Very so glad that y'all get any health refills near the boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad y'all's found. I'm I'm so glad y'all found our turtle pope. Wow, you've died I just five times so far. I think dying's good for the whole ecosystem. Yeah, says Lord, I love it. <laughs> what what Jonas? You just what? <laughs> I, I just I want to just imagine that. Over and over and everything will be fine. The, the turtle pope conversation happening out of context. Oh yeah, I found the pope. He's got a teleporter that takes you right to him. <laughs> also, he's a turtle. <laughs> he's a turtle. <laughs> oh yeah, the the turtle pope. Yes. <laughs> Do we have an understanding? The, the thing that has almost single-handedly sold me on the idea of acquiring Elden Ring. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think it was all that. Oh, I thought it was all your two fingers butthole jokes. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Excuse me? That's the okay. oh, that's what the players do in the okay. game. Okay, so um one of the things in Elden Ring is that it's it's even when you're playing alone, it's kind of a multiplayer game and that you can see like ghosts of what other people have done recently. Yeah. <laughs> and you can see uh so when player when other players die, they leave blood stains in your world, and you can click on the blood stains, and you'll see how it is that they died. Like they fell off a cliff, or they got beaten by a monster, or something. Um, but people can also leave messages, but you can't just leave any message. They're like words you can use. So of course, people are combining things like butt and hole to make butthole. <laughs> wow, that's... And there's uh, a concept character in the game called the Two Fingers, and so people yeah. are just like, Two Fingers, but pull! I'm not afraid of him and neither should uh -huh. Anytime there's, there's uh -huh. a, a backside to a statue or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh -huh. this is, that's it's, the, it's that's the, the creativity for you. It's, the it's a reminder that, that we're all children. Is. <laughs> it's, it's like one of those like elementary school like bathroom stall jokes. Like, hey, yes. put butt and hole together. I just discovered, you know. I, it, it, basically, that's it. Yeah. Yes. And they're all over the place in the game. What can I tell you? The uh, internet gaming is just full of buttholes. Yeah. But the thing is, sometimes people leave actually helpful hints. So yeah. you <laughs> you are continually checking them anyway, but. Yeah, that's <laughs> the bra Well, it's 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 actually funny in my opinion, like both ways. But oh, my cousin doesn't like it. Just give me a useful hit, you jerks. The the one I love the most is that apparently the Japanese players are getting very confused by a lot of people leaving the message Fort, comma Night, and they kept <laughs> thinking, oh, if you come back to this spot at night, there'll be a fort. No, it's just Americans making jokes about Fortnite, and the Japanese players didn't get it. Oh, that's okay. that's pretty amusing. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm amused by that one. <laughs> it's like that uh, weird one I heard back then, where they thought Cap or uh, Ridley from Smash Bros. was Captain America for some reason. I'm like, where did that come from? I don't get it. 
Apparently, it, uh, Ridley is only popular in the West. Uh, so popular, they they somehow somebody made a comment that it was uh, in Japan that was he's basically Captain America for for the U.S. Oh. Just because he was popular over there. I see. It, 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 and it became weird when people started taking it uh, to its logical conclusion. And they gave Ca uh, Ridley like Captain America shield just to have fun with it. Nice. Don't expect to get anything back. Well, not after the first time anyway. Usually, I'm just saying, don't get your hopes up. Maybe I just want to show thanks to my friends for its own sake. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Ah. Uh. Let's go with this one. Keepsakes hold power. They sure do. Basal power. It does. <laughs> so, Liz, I see what you're doing in there. My face holds immense power, thank you. It's a powerful face. Myrmidon, that's a good word. It means ant. What means ant? Like well, actually, let me double check that. Myrmidon. I think that means ant. Maybe it means ant man. Oh, no. it, means, it, it, it means like counter should level that up. Hmm. It means like a follower, a subordinate. I don't know why I thought of ant. How dare you, boy! Maybe you've got ant brain, Jonas. That foolish I find. Ooh. If you or a loved one is suffering from ant brain. <laughs> Goodbye, father. Wasn't that that movie with uh with uh, Paul Rudd? Yes, thank you. <laughs> I made that joke already. Keep up. Too bad. Okay. Here, let me show you. <laughs> it is too bad, isn't it? I'm, I did it again and made it better. Cause that's me. Because it's you, uh, yeah. That's me. Oh, you're gonna be that kid, Jonas. Oh yeah, I am absolutely that kid. He is. It's true. I checked Which his kid? credentials. Yeah, I have the card that says that kid on it. Kid, come with that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a Nick show. That kid. That it's kid. That kid. Who is? I want to be that, that kid. kid. It was what Kid Kid Cat? Wasn't that a show? That was Kid versus Cat. Is that what you mean? That's what I'm thinking of. Kid fights fought the cat. Ooh. It's that kid starring Joey Lawrence. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking about that. <laughs> Wish you could get Joey Lawrence. Hey guys, hey guys. Don't take a bite out of that Kit Cat bar. <laughs> Nobody nice. better lay a finger at my butter finger. I remember, hey, no I advertising remember. on this stream, all right? <laughs> hey, kids, go what? Read house pets. Uh, except for that. That doesn't count nope. as advertising, right? You can't, even, you can't even advertise house pets. <laughs> it's true. Wait. It soon will advertise house pets for us there. If we do any official endorsements, we'll be will be obliterated by Twitch's drone bots. You and your drone bots. Always with the drone bots. <laughs> All right then. Chaos. Ooh, I like I, I like seeing this. Chaos. <laughs> what a lot of fun to these character designs. It's true. Yes. I merely listened, so it's just like when I get those messages from the Olympians. Wait, you did just prompt me, Master Chaos, didn't you? Or should I have remained silent just now? <laughs> I cannot offer you advice, but you were prompted, yes. You may speak freely, then or any time, despite my wishes that you not do so. Absolute silence is my general preference. It may not be yours. <laughs> Thank you. 
You know, I prefer size, you may speak, because I'm chaos, and chaos is good. Three encounters... don't attack. Hmm. You can do it. That talking uplift is very good. You're here, folks. Chaos has a Patreon page. <laughs> Look who. And Chaos has an arson. Extremely surreal. Yeah, it's painted a punch, it'd be a kick with a gun coming out of it and a zoo. I'll just keep this on me. Chaos made a painting, it'd be like Lovecraftian, that it just immediately sends you into insanity. Glorious. Say he's a concept. He'll just turn it something different. What's the hammer do again? Those are uh, weapon specific upgrades. Ah. Nice. So, like, if you have the hammer while you're wielding the shield, you could get an upgrade that says, oh, your shield throw now chains. So it'll bounce between different people before coming back to you. For the bow, it could be, uh, he can no longer charged to shoot, but now if he holds down the fire key, he just shoots very quickly. Things stateless. Wow, all of those look pretty good. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, are you watching the Twitch stream or the Discord stream? Discord. Okay. Sometimes my brain is just delayed. That's fair. I'm not, sometimes I'll, I'll end up watching the Twitch stream and forget that. I mean, the you know, the, the, the Twitch feed. And then forget that it's not like the Discord feed. Um, and... It happens. Uh, these. Oh, seeing this game so far... This is my opinion, but I think this the bow and the spirit are best so far. I haven't seen how the, I don't know if that's how the weapons or we've we seen all the weapons yet though. This has been lifted. Well generally just in a survival based game, staying at range is pretty nice, but I've seen oh. people go crazy with like the sword and stuff. Ash said that they really like the E fists. My favorite is the spear. I will always maintain distance if possible. There's a choice. <laughs> Obviously, in this game, at some point, you know, you're, you're going to have to get in there and do the close combat thing, but, yeah. <laughs> a boon for a boon. Hmm. Oh shoot! I should oh, take shoot. Away. is that? Oh, I don't, I don't think I've seen that. Uh, you can get multiple bones out. Multiple Having an bones? AOE knockback. Okay, this one's a faded choice. <laughs> I still uh, have knockback damage, man. <laughs> I like I like the word the, the text on the faded choice. So what does Faded Choices do? Uh, if you get enough of them, it uh, fulfills a prophecy and you get... Yeah, it, you basically have to get every upgrade of a certain category once in your lifetime in order to unlock the Faded thing. So it's going to mark which ones you have not yet gotten once. Oh, like a compendium kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
It's a, a feature they add to basically like force, not force you, but ask you to sort of mix up your build. Be like, hey, yeah, you haven't gotten one of these before. You want to try it? To mere existence hidden from us all this time. Perhaps he knew that once you met us, you would stop at nothing to come seek us out. That's So the keys are still updating your, uh, giving you new weapons, or are you doing something different now? No, he still has one more weapon to unlock. Two, maybe? I have two weapons to unlock, so... Yeah. Okay. I guess after that, they just become extra currency for other stuff, then. Yeah. And there's other stuff they can use with these, too. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can use them to unlock the mirror stuff, and then... I think once you have all of that, they might not have any more use, and then you just sell them off to the uh, Infernal Broker. Oh, that Infernal Broker. Show to God your love with Nectar! Good night. Very tight. I still think it's silly that you have to pay to get rid of, uh, of a boon. You don't have to pay to get rid of a boon. This you one. sell your boons, but you can only sell them at the end of an area, and then even then it chooses three random ones that you're allowed to sell. Oh, really? Uh, I thought the last time I saw it, it was like you had to pay to get rid of it. Nope. It had a money amount, that was how much he was going to make if he sold them. Okay. Well, don't that be at all. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be quite like a, uh... The, the Slay the Spire or other deck-building type of games where you generally want to have a smaller deck. No. Because there's no random... Well, aside from, I guess, crit chance, there's no random things. It's, right, what you have moves, yeah. there's nothing random to it. You missed the food down there. Ah! I'll destroy you. Ooh. Ooh, that noise! That was me going food! Oh, okay. I don't like these laser shooting crystal enemies. They have too much range. Yes, they do. They have a lot of range, but if you can get in close to them, they do not turn very quickly, and you can just circle straight from them. Yeah, it's pretty much the old. Zelda laser strategy. It's uh, mostly the just that Zelda it's... Zelda laser strategy. <laughs> I don't know how to work. I've never heard it called that. I've heard it called the old rope-a-dope. This is usually what I hear. The old rope-a-dope! That's like something you have to say in a Hanna-Barbera voice. 
Well, mm -hmm. that's what uh, freaking um, uh, isn't that what Muhammad Ali called his uh, his strategy? Was it? Maybe. I don't remember. I think it was, unless it wasn't. Oh no! It Great. was either that or it was something else. Zach, any last requests this time before I send you home? Let's see. How about a swift and painful death? Would that be possible? Be cheeky all you like. You'll get exactly what you asked, and nothing more. Oh, you got this. I appreciate how many lines I got for this. Well, it's pretty important given how many times they kind of expect players to go mm. through it. Oh. That was like the main thing a lot of people commented on when this game first came out. It was like getting Game of the Year recommendations and stuff. Is they're just like, they make the characters feel very real just because they have so many lines. Hmm. Such a shame. So how did it go? How did you die ignobly this time, pray tell? Cerberus and I can't wait to hear the tale. The tale, okay. okay. I'll spare you the details. Fine. Uh, Rick getting a little, uh, uh, static. Yeah, you're hitting the static back again, nice. How often it recurs. Almost as though my realm is built to keep you here. You and every single soul that's ever lived. You like it when you get pets like this, don't you, boy? The hellish yeah. wolf snarls at the listless shades crowding about the court. Zerus gets a treat. Must have missed Achilles. <laughs> Cerberus does Next, deserves do treats. Cerberus is a good boy. A gentle being under the guise of chaos. They approached me recently and offered me a boon of sorts. Primordial chaos. Indeed, I know them well. They must have taken interest in your quest. I would advise that you beware their offerings. Though know that chaos, whilst a trickster, is not a deceiver. I. I think. Still don't know what the distinction there is supposed to be. Um, Miss Dusa, I wanted you to have this. It's nothing really, just for your. Hey, you can trick somebody about being completely honest. The prince, I'm really grateful for this, really, and I thought. I, I guess. Kind of got something for you. Thanks, Miss Dusa. Um, Dusa, turns out that I may be stopping back from time to time like this. Please don't bother picking up my room. I won't be staying long. Oh, <laughs> sure. But I'll just keep an eye wait, on wait, wait. there from time to time, in case you change your mind. Um, so, goodbye. Um, goodbye. <laughs> I can't get over the way she just <laughs> goes straight up off screen. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely should not have uh, drank that in retrospect. De cause of death hemlock. <laughs> 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 it happens to the best of us. Wow, oh, is that a restaurant? Mm -hmm. Looks like it. It's the, it's the lounge. Nice. It's where everyone gets to relax for a bit. And it's always funny when you find Meg in there, because she'll just be hanging around. <laughs> and she'll be like, I'll get you next time. And you're just like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> next time, gadget. <laughs> She's very sundry. <laughs> it happens. I get 
bonus damage on first strike. Okay. That is pretty good. No go for bosses, uh but hey. Once in a while, pal, you're gonna see a real fancy bozo try to ruin your good time. You'll know him because he's glowing like a light. But that's his special armor, see? You gotta punch right through it. He's gonna shrug you off until you do. For a good time, beware the fancy glowing bozos on my quest. Check. Mm. What's that one there? Broken urns have 3% chance to contain health. Might help. Oh, that almost sounds like a Diablo mechanic. Okay. This one. Mouth on the twin fists. Let's say we crack some skulls. Whoa, those are some paws. Joe, you were good. Okay, I'll put some heart hitters. Oh, no, that's right, I can't. Is everyone asleep? Ah! Right, and right. Why? Really? Yeah, for cut. So I really the the one thing I liked with fists is there's one Daedalus hammer you can get that makes it so when you do your special your uppercut like that, it magnetizes all the enemies near you, drags them into you, and then you hit them. Tartarus. Becomes extremely good for crowds. Interesting. Bye, everyone. I did a build with that, and then I just stacked special damage on as many things as I could get, and it was pretty good. I like the doll look at his face. I feel like lightning strike might work with the rapid attacks. Or that. <laughs> How careless of me. <laughs> yeah, you're running away. You're not here to vandalize. Jeez. Yes, hello. The air is beautiful and brisk, the gardens lush, the feasting plentiful. Why, it must be the opposite of everything to which you are accustomed. Yeah, and I love that <laughs> goddess. Goddess takes stalker. <laughs> Attack inflicts weak. Yes. I ran into a glitch on Twitch Tracker. I looked up the time that you played Hades so far, just out of curiosity, and it says you've been playing that yesterday you played it for 24 hours and 5 minutes. So, You mean right then? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Must have been like a Twitch thing or something. Somebody goofed. Maybe. A Twitch glitch. Exactly. Is Twitch that, that glitch? <laughs> Twitch glitch, Sava! Gun? Crack that yeah, way, then. Yeah. Twitch of that witch. Come on in. 
Come on in, I won't fight. <laughs> Probably won't miss a couple. Buddy. Money, 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 My old friend. In the name of Hades. Excuse me. More bouncing lightning? Ooh, yeah. Well, you gotta go with more bounces. the rude thing to do. <laughs> oh my god, how did I not see that? World Fly GC over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, as savvy as I am, I don't know how stuff like that flies over me. Yeah, that seems pretty good. <laughs> Let me see. Double, double. More Zeus. What? Oh, this one. More Zeus. Aphrodite. 
nice. Oh, how I hate to fight with you like this. Let's forgive each other and forget. Go back to how things used to be. <laughs> I mean, not now. <laughs> ah, so did Rick get a thingy that recharges his gem thingy? I'm gonna break those jars. Yeah. Uh So I'll say that was a little too many thingies for me to understand what was being said. You get the thingy thingy that does a thing. You get the thing that does a thing. <laughs> you cannot. I did get that thing. So the 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 red gem at the bottom is for casts. Yes, that's how many casts you have versus how many gems you have on you. Okay. And it's recharging. Well, okay. So the casts get embedded in an enemy. Uh, if they, if the enemy dies, they'll drop it and you can pick it up again. If yeah, but I have the other thing on. Don't, if, yeah, if they don't die, well, it just means, the thing you have on just means this happens faster. If they don't die, then it gets recalled back to you and kind of slowly zips back towards you over several uh. seconds. But because the fights in the room are only 45, 60 seconds long, it takes 15 seconds for it to come back to you. That's basically the entire fight. See. Hmm. Should help keep me going. Ah. No food, sorry. I do know there's one mirror upgrade that I definitely went for as quickly as I could when I could get it. That was uh increase the maximum number of casts you have and it goes up to three. Not three more, but a total of three. I really want the Daedalus hammer. But the shop could be anything. It could even be a Daedalus hammer. It could even be a Daedalus hammer. <laughs> Cameron's shop. It's a Daedalus yeah. hammer. I love that. <laughs> there you go. That's yeah. And he even says thank you, mate. After using your special, deal 90 da damage in an area. Your dash upper deals 100% damage in an area. Where your special slaves foes restore 2% of health. That sounds fun. Hmm. That one is... 2%? Not as much as you think it is. 2%. But it is something. Point per kill. Uh. With the special, specifically. Yeah. yeah but it is I, something. I, I've tried it several times and it did not work well for me. I'd rather just have more damage, especially with Daedalus Hammer. I'm not denying that because, like, the problem is it, it, that you could get a, uh, a dungeon where, or a room where there's just two monsters. So yeah, yeah, and also oh. because at least for me, most often I'm not dying to normal chambers. I'm dying to bosses. 
So healing off of normal chambers doesn't help that. Yeah, I just... I'd probably just use it just so that I would be going into boss chambers with full health. Hmm. Got one food. Well, again, I don't have. Yeah. I guess it's, yeah, it's just your priority. I don't know what this bag does though. That's oh, a that's random boon. Random. Yeah, random boon. Okay. We meet again. What's that you're holding, Zandrius? Please tell me that you didn't steal oh, the Meg. stable artifacts sealed shut within your father's vault. Um, it wasn't I who stole them, if that's any reassurance to you, Meg. You are a hopeless fool. You can't possibly know what you're doing with those things. Yeah, blame Achilles. It's exactly his fault. Found them. That heal. Spit <laughs> me to it. <laughs> See, it's a funny joke. I made a funny joke. He, he made the wrestling joke. I made the wrestling joke. Wait, it was a wrestling joke? And I missed it? <laughs> yeah, GC, you need to pay more attention. Is this is the heel terminology originally from wrestling? It's the dude um, that you don't that you're supposed to not like. That's the heel. Yeah, the heel is the is the bad guy. The face is the good guy. And when the good guy becomes a bad guy, it's a heel turn. Heel and when the bad guy becomes a good guy, it's a face turn. Yeah. What do you have when Jonas what does when you it? Lie down in a pool of your own blood and die to Megara. What kind of turn is that? Uh, that is a. Um, that's a downturn. That's is a that downturn. a zag turn? A zag turn. Zigzag. And when I do it, it's a face go. turn. Yeah, I was I was gonna make that joke. I was gonna be like, when Jonas does it, it's a your face turn. But I didn't get the chance. Denied. And you never will. Mwahaha. Mwahaha. Wow, I can feel the evil just radiating from you. You're getting somewhere with that codex, lad. I'm pleased to see it. And then Miller said, "The house have meant that lately. I can't travel quite as much as once I did." Uh, let let them very birds. I'll try to travel for the both of us, Achilles. Is is that what Miller said? I, I was also trying to reference Dexter. Why is it? <laughs> those shades muttering about. Why is Achilles Cause not of a death, shade ancient himself? curse? Why does Achilles still have his face when the rest of them are all shades? It's because like he's like a demigod. So tell me something, father. Uh, I think heroes I become immemorialized and they stay themselves. Is the idea? Uh, mother, how to put this? Any brothers or sisters I should know about? I thought I told you never to invoke her here. Be thankful that you have no blasted kin. You've such weak blood and such a temperament. Why then would you think I'd risk another such as you? Sure, Good. that's fair enough. It's just not all such things occur as planned, as I am told, from tales of your brothers and so forth. Oh, blast my brothers and blast you as well. All those who know me know I have no heir. You could not rise to the occasion if you tried. And there is no one else. You've only me. And I have only you. Heartwarming. <laughs> you had enough to eat lately, haven't you, boy? And Cerberus. We've got Cerberus too. Yeah. Cerberus acknowledges the, the prince with an affection tempered with Durg. time. Durg of the dermed. The Durg of the dermed? Oh, Durn! <laughs> Urns of Wealth Lesser. Underworld renovation chambers may contain urns with money. Yeah. I'll have to keep an eye out for this next Yeah. You've no authority in my domain. Money? That's as good as cash. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. It's going to be hell. A liar. Clean the rafters once again and prune the gardens. That's where you slip up the peanut and you lose your twenty dollars. To tend the kitchens and sweep the lounging area a second. But peanut's still twenty bucks for me. How dare he? Mm -hmm. Yes, right away. Pause. 
after it. And keys. We got two more talents. I have five keys. Special delivery for you back there, boyo. You're getting pretty strong, I'll give you that, boyo. Strong enough to smack a guy like me right up against the wall, and I'd go straight to pieces. Boom! You just remember, when you're duking it out, the walls are your friend. I just noticed... Sc guys against walls. Sound advice as ever, mate. I only just noticed Skelly has hair. Hey, look at that. Oh, uh, what is this? No. A Chozo cannon? It's a bird gun. Yeah, Chozo cannon. Chozo. Yeah. You're not far off. Suit not included. Which one? <laughs> Wait, what's that called? What? The one to the left? Probably <laughs> faster. <laughs> Alright. My shield. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, Harpy's Feather Duster. Everything oh. is a Yu Gi Oh reference. Is it seriously a Yu Gi Oh reference? Darkness, give me strength. It, it might be just a coincidence? There are no coincidences in Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> no, only mistakes. <laughs> Damn. Look, like, I'm just saying, I've. I've Seen a lot of stuff about magic, and I've seen a lot of stuff about Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is much more the more broken game. Well, yeah, because they don't have um, what's the word for sets you can use? Rotation. Well, yes, oh, but so you mean like, so you mean every Yu-Gi-Oh card from the beginning to the end is valid, unless it's been explicitly banned. Oh, that's funny. That's hilarious. What a chaotic format. Game. Yeah, they don't have formats. Oh, they don't? I thought they did. I don't believe they do. They don't have things like standard or whatever. Huh. Yeah, that would make things bad. That's hilarious. Yeah, their, their balancing is like how many of a card you can have in your deck. Huh. Usually it's four. Sometimes it's none. And sometimes it's in between, which is just really confusing to me. That you can only have one of this card in your deck. It's like... Uh, uh. So Magic has a thing, and it's only in the format Vintage, where you can have legal cards, banned cards, and then cards that are restricted, and you can only have one copy. Uh... That's only yeah, I don't have the cash vintage. to play vintage, so I just kind of ignore it. No, I mean, does. unless you're making at least six figures a year, you don't have the cash to play. Not vintage. even. Not even. Nobody plays vintage because you, in order to be competitive in vintage, you'd have to have a black lotus in your deck. And black lotus, the cheapest of which are like two thousand yeah. dollars. Oh, is that all? The only people who play vintage are the people who made a deck in 1994 and have not touched it since then. Or are just playing with proxies. You know, yeah, I was about to play proxies. <laughs> I mean, probably like my generation. <laughs> so it's Jonas's fault. Yeah, it's my fault. I did it. Yeah, Jonas is the magic speculator. Real hate. I am. It was me. <laughs> I did that coming in. He's why we have the reserve list. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to play thirty-four black lotuses in a deck one time, and they just had to do something about it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that, monster. That's oh, that the originally Magic didn't have the four card limit. Yeah, um, no, it was it was the first trading card game. The whole idea was just you play with the cards you found. Nobody ever thought that there would be a second hand market and you would just make a deck based on the most powerful cards. Well, which not, honestly <laughs> seems like a bit at, of an oversight. At, well, they also had anti rule back then. But the, yeah, the reason well. they put the uh, the four card limit in was lightning bolt. People yeah. were just making decks that were just mountains and lightning bolt, and nothing could beat it. Oh, we're talking about magic, is it? Yes, yes. Okay. I haven't played in a while, but I still love the deck I made in that. Uh, would you guys show me Aria? <laughs> mm -hmm. I play. The new Kamigawa set came out a while ago. 
and I've been loving it. It's a uh, it's a card in it called Oni. <laughs> it's a card in it called <laughs> Oni Cult Anvil, and I uh, I've been having a lot of fun with that card. Oh God, you're one of those people, huh? <laughs> what? What do you mean? I'm one just of those glad people? they brought Ninjutsu back. Well, at least you're not one of the ones who's doing that uh, that that rune enchantment combo. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know the one I'm talking about. I think so. I mean, it's, it's not... like there's it's it's a OK, so there's like um, I cannot recall the name of this card, but there's a new card in Kamigawa that's like um, reduce the cost of all enchantments by one, one colorless. Mm -hmm. And then this combos, re it's a creature. Uh, which also has lifelink, annoyingly. But, and it's uh, an enchantment, even more annoying. Yeah, it's an enchantment creature, yes. Uh, which used to not be a thing, but that's uh, that's uh, neither here nor there. Um, but uh, this combos ridiculously well with an older card from um, still legal in standard, but a card from uh, what was what was the name of the Viking expansion? Kaldheim. Kaldheim, yeah. This is a guy who's a legendary. He will, huh? He's not. He's not legendary. He's not you legendary. You can have multiples God, of him even, at once. That's even worse. Uh, he lets you um, play any rune enchantment for one colorless. So the way this stacks with the one that lets you. Uh, get a one mana discount on enchantments is that rune enchantments become free if you have both of these cards on the table. <laughs> mm -hmm. And doesn't he also let you search your library for specific enchantments or something like that? Yes, yeah, so when he enters the battlefield, you search your library for a rune card and put it into your hand, and then when you cast a rune spell, you may pay one generic instead of its regular mana cost. Yeah. Excuse me. So these two cards together are uh, quite a nightmarish thing to deal with if you are not playing this deck. Me. Okay, well maybe I nightmarish is slightly <laughs> a slightly strong term, but they do stack well with other enchantment bullshit. They do. The the I've seen the deck you're talking about. That's not usually the enchantment deck that I'm worried about the most. The one I'm worried about the most is the one that's just straight green white enchantments mm -hmm. because they play the guy you're talking about that makes the enchantments cost both less. And then they also play the green one. That... Uh, it's just the one that gets plus one plus one for uh, every enchantment that hits the field or something like that. It gives all enchantments you control plus one plus one and then also it has green tap copy target triggered ability of an enchantment you control. God, that card yeah, is this, gross. This, this shit is nonsense is what I'm saying. Copying abilities is, is always fun. Yeah, this you know one... what's wild is when they play a banishing light and then copy the ability and so they get to get rid of two things? That this... seems not fair. I had this one guy pull this ridiculous combo on me, and it was all happening so fast, and I was just kind of sitting there slack-jawed watching it unfold, and I couldn't see all of the cards that were involved. It was, um... <sighs> it's that one dragon that has haste, and every time it attacks or gets targeted by abil an ability, <laughs> it creates a treasure token. Yeah, Goldspan Dragon. The Thank you. I couldn't remember. Standard for like last year. So this this guy had that, and then something that copied abilities, and something that gave every like instant and sorcery flashback, and yeah. something that was pumping the dragon up bigger and bigger, yeah. and it just turned into this endless combo that he just kept doing over and over and over again. I like sat there for like five minutes watching him beef this thing up until it could take mm. out all of my life points in one hit. Yeah, because you play cards that... Because he basically says when you target him, you get to make two mana. So you have mm -hmm. cards that target him that cost two or less mana and also draw a card. Doesn't matter what they do. As long as they cost zero or negative amounts of mana and draw mm -hmm. redraw themselves 
then you can just keep going as long as you can find more stuff. Yeah, it was and it was absurd. <laughs> I was not prepared at all. Mm -hmm. And up until that point, I was like, oh, I'm doing pretty well. And then it turns out, no, in fact, I was not doing very well. <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah, the Goldspan Dragon is why a lot of decks that play black right now play instant speed sacrifice effects. Because it's a way that you can get your opponent to forcibly sacrifice a Goldspan Dragon and you're not targeting it. They're the ones choosing it so they don't get anything off of it. But yeah. Anyway, this this whole, time. <laughs> whole thing just came from the fact that there was an item in the game called Harpy Feather Duster. <laughs> Harpy Feather Duster. Magic gets so silly sometimes, y'all. Yeah, I fail. Yeah. Magic is very silly. I'm excited for the new set. They showed a... They called it like a pre-roll? Or something like that? Pre-debut? Mm-hmm of the new set, and it's a uh, noir, art deco kind of inspired set. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about oh. that. Treats of New Competa. Um, one of the cards they showed off was showed this group of, like, investors or something signing a contract to, like, make their pact or whatever. And one of the characters who was signing it was a furry caracal. Ooh. So that's cool. I know that I haven't seen this art before, but somebody was talking about a card. It's a vehicle, of course. That was like uh, a demon driving a sports car with an angel as his hood ornament. <laughs> Yeah, the, so Omnixilis is a demon introduce. planeswalker that's been featured a lot in the set sort of like preview art, but we haven't seen anything specific of him yet. If he's, yeah, if he's in the set, I I'd imagine do something like that. <laughs> but you're saying it was from Kamigawa? No, 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 the next one. It's a leak. Okay. Ah, a leak. Yeah, I haven't. I don't. I don't always give too much faith to those. That. It's like an 80 20 that they're real versus something somebody printed off of like Cardsmith. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, but you know. What's Cardsmith? Cardsmith is this website where you can make fake magic cards and it'll print it in like the right uh, picture proportions and uh, text size and all that kind of stuff. I don't feel like the text works right on that. It always it's seems not perfect. Off. There's, yeah, there's oh, something a little weird to it. I think it's also just because like the text tries to resize, and most people, when they make fake cards, make them way wordier than actual magic cards. They do tend to, don't they? Yeah. And so it keeps trying to resize the text smaller and smaller <laughs> so it can actually fit on the damn card. They're not usually as bad as Robo Rosewater, though. Oh, Robo no. Rosewater? Robo Rosewater? So Mark Rose Water, Water is the lead designer of Magic the Gathering, and he has been for some 20 years. Yes, um, all the while actually functioning as a slave of Gleemax, but that's beside the point. <laughs> yeah. And some people made some um, neural networks, some kind of AI to create magic cards, and they were of varying degrees of intelligence. And... <laughs> Some of the cards it comes up with are brilliant, and some of them make no sense. <laughs> yeah, some awesome. of them look like if Jonas tried to make a magic card and he went all finger dear a finger slurping hey! on it. Hey! You're right, but I'm still insulted. <laughs> yeah, because they, they have neural networks, all of magic cards into these things, and they have three different ones. One of them is very low quality and will spit out stuff that does not grammatically make sense, much less does it make gameplay sense. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna make gibberish magic cards now just to spite you. Oh because god, you're so of course you are. <laughs> I, I would love to see it. I would love to see what you would think is a is a interesting gibberish magic card. <laughs> the Herga and the Durga and the Smurga Durga. Yes. But then there are sometimes a prince. 
the, the high quality one sometimes makes cards that are like yeah i could see that printed in the next set like that's it makes sense it works within the rules it has a decent power level is not broken or anything and then sometimes it it prints a card that functionally is great but then you look at say the mana cost or the color that the effect is in and you're like that that's not right oh boy a green counter spell yeah <laughs> or yeah, there was that one set, there what was I just that one put set in the, uh, that uh, in the deliberately chat broke all those rules right like they had green counter spells and like all kinds of weird shit planar oh, chaos yeah planar yeah, chaos yeah that's the one there wasn't a green counter spell it was um it was white there was oh, a okay, white well. counter spell. There was a red... <laughs> Good old manitized. Red pump spell. Uh, which now red just gets pump spells. Like, that's not even yeah. a not red thing anymore. Here's the feet. What is it? Oh, blue had a burn spell. Oh, wow. Blue, blue had a card that dealt four damage to any target and then two damage to yourself. That's that's fantastic. And so many crazy it. things happened during the times when uh, I wasn't playing. Like those ridiculously huge, what were they, Eldrazi creatures? Yes. Mm -hmm. Those were absurd when I finally saw the uh, the power and toughness on those. <laughs> well, the power and toughness is great, but the really big thing is the um, Annihilator. Yeah, I'm going to swing with this. You, you have to now sacrifice six permanents. Odd. Yeah, it was very strong. Wasn't there also a Godzilla crossover? Yep. Yes. Okay. So they had a set that had a whole bunch of, like, giant monster things in, like, the Magic Universe. But mm. then they also had, like, promotional cards that were functionally the same card. But with like Godzilla Just art, I was to think it's that's fantastic. Last yeah, Tour so like Mars. there was a Mothra, and there was a King Kong, and there was a Rodan, and there was like four different Godzillas. I think of you in pain. All right, it was just like the uh, Dracula things. God, I I actually do want some of those Dracula cards. <laughs> surprising no one. <laughs> Excuse me. Was that the, the tooth, I guess? Yeah. Alright. Use your god's call. Finish her I off. Did. Darkness. Huzzah! And darkness was acquired. Here's to a pleasant voyage up in Asphodel.
that one. Damn it, can't get that. I see you, Tartarus. Be there soon, Bone Hydra. The bloodless lie in wait out there, I guess. Hmm, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. I like GC. <laughs> you are so kind, GC. Manners are important. <laughs> Manners are important, you're right. It's all that separates us from the animals. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Now we're not... Okay. Without manners, <laughs> we're just manimals. Manimals. What if that were like, you remember how there was a time back in uh, the early whatevers where anime was first being brought over to the U.S. and people were calling it Japanimation? Japan yeah, I've J Japanimation, yeah. I remember that. I remember that vividly. What if, what if there had been a time like that in, like, the early furry fandom where they were referring to them as manimals? Well, they didn't say manimals, they said funny animals. Yep. Well, yes, but that was like, that was an industry term. That was what they called, like, talking animal comic books. Daedalus Hammer for a special encounter. But I mean, imagine, imagine someone just being like, uh, manimals in a, in like a fandom context. <laughs> Rick, if you pick that one, you will meet my favorite character in the game. Singing. Come on in. Okay. So you have to go down and then dash up into her place. Hey, you must be the Hades kid. How's it going then, Your Royal Majesty? Nice to meet you. I'm Eurydice. What brings a big, important guy like you up to a place like this? <laughs> so creative. Hi Did you say you're hungry, Jonas? I, I said these designs are so creative, though I am hungry. Well, Jonas, now I'm just, hungry. Uh, just uh, eat. <laughs> Have you ever considered just eating, Jonas? Have you ever oh. considered just eating, Jonas? No. <laughs> but there's Don't one do that. Place, which is, nobody leaves here empty-handed. You got that? So take your pick. My treat. Well... Let it be known that Jonas is, uh, not pro-autophagy. What? Autophagy. Um... You know, that's right. when you, uh, that's when you phagy in auto. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna shame you here. You do your thing. You're not gonna shame me. You're not gonna auto-shame me. <laughs> what about auto-Octavian? Get out. <laughs> I'm losing it! <laughs> oh jeez, yeah. that reminds me, people are starting to spoil the movie, and I said, it's still too early! Wait, oh yeah, that's early. right, I need to see that. Uh, I think I'm gonna go see it sometime this week. <laughs> it seems like the internet has taken that after a movie's three, uh, three months old, it's everybody's game, and I'm saying, no, it's gotta be at least six months, or something like that. <laughs> It's gotta be at least 17 years. I thought the, the agreed Or accompanied by a legal guardian. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. I thought that... Did you say an illegal guardian? I said a legal guardian, not an illegal guardian. I swear I heard illegal guardian too, but anyway. Okay, fine. You can only get into this movie if you're at least 17 and if you're with a, with a guardian that has no legal claim on you whatsoever. Cool. <laughs> nice. Um... But, uh, 
got the point I was gonna make. Oh well. <laughs> Couldn't have been important. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not really uh, gonna be going to see any movies anytime soon. I've run into some money triples. Oh, sorry. Fortunately, I still have a whole bunch of passes from my old job just sitting around collecting <laughs> dust. That's nice. That's so I'm just gonna be like, yeah, uh, these are uh, my my legitimate movie passes. <laughs> you know, nothing's coming out in the next few months that I think I could like. Like, there's nothing where like I couldn't wait for it to be on on video. You know what I mean? Yeah, the only things that are really on my hit list right now, uh, even though <laughs> I still find this is really where my list is, it's basically Sonic and Burial, that's it. And uh, I'm yeah, more... I have to see Sonic, that's obligatory for me. Yeah. You just want to see Sally Acorn in a big picture, yeah. I really do, but I know I won't. <laughs> okay, sure, don't worry, John. Sure. Do they them. have the rights to those characters? Okay, so, them. yes. Yes, they do. That's the short version. The long okay. version is way more complicated. The only characters that they don't have the rights to are any characters that were specifically created by any of the writers at the Archie comics. So that includes not just Ken Penders, Penders, and his, uh, and his ridiculous uh, menagerie of freaking uh, echidnas. Or a hoggle snogs, as I prefer to think of them. Um, this also extends to uh, any any characters created by any of the other writers. Hmm. So um, uh, that includes people like uh, because I'm gonna rattle off some of these writers by name because of course I know who they are. That includes people <laughs> like uh, Carl Ballers. Yes, his name is Ballers. Um, and uh, Ian Holm, technically, even though I don't think he would give them shit for it. Um, any characters, any, well, actually, no, Ian was probably made to sign the uh, the proper contracts that uh, Ken and company somehow missed out on. But uh, basically, they lost the rights to uh, any characters that were created by the Archie Comics writing team specifically, which... Sally was not. She was created by uh, the the Deke animators, and Sega still has all the rights to them. Okay. And then Tikal was made for Sonic yeah, Adventure she was made, 1? Yeah, she was made by Sega, so they still have okay. her. The only uh, game That's character... That's one I want to see. We haven't seen Tikal since Sonic Adventure 1, and I kind of want to see true. her again. The, the only ones that kind of exist in a sort of uh, state of uh, limbo-like uncertainty are uh, the OCs that were created by uh, BioWare for, um, what was the name of that? DS oh, there was the RPG. 3D, yeah, there was the DS like RPG that they made. Yeah, because that was the game that, that was the game that prompted Ken Penders to sue them. Because uh, there were a lot of concepts from that game which were, in fact, inspired by his work on uh, the Knuckles comic. And uh, Bioware assumed, as anyone probably would assume, that Sega had the rights to all that free and clear so they could use concepts that were derivative of his. And... Uh, Sega so they made also. the reasonable of a decision, and it turns out it was incorrect. Yeah, well, it turns out it was, uh, it's not so much incorrect, like, what, what ultimately happened, the court didn't rule in his favor, per se. The court, basically, the case was thrown out because they couldn't produce the contract that proved Surprise. <laughs> that the characters belonged to Archie and company. Somebody got fired over that. I'm just telling you. Oh, that. absolutely. Absolutely. His contract was lost. I will never, ever get over that. They lost his contract. And the only thing they could produce was like a blurry Xerox of it. Absolutely absurd. The most incompetent shit ever. 
<laughs> but, uh... Um, I think Rico's gonna walk with what we were just discussing. <laughs> yeah, man. It's, uh... So, because those characters were directly derivative of his, and the case was basically, uh, dismissed, uh, Ken is, from, from then onwards, has acted like he has full legal claim to all the characters from that game, including their new girl, Echidna, whose name was Shade, and he's now treating Shade like she's just an alter ego of one of his OCs, whose name was Julie Sue, and no, I'm not making that up. Um, but technically, it's not been settled that he owns those characters. He's just I was treating say, it has like he tried knows. making new works with these characters, or is well, he also kind of like avoiding putting his foot in where it shouldn't belong? No, he's kind of like this uh, epic. Go ahead, you tell. Yeah, he's got this um as as Jonas, whom I almost called Knuckles for a moment there. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jonas and Knuckles. And um, Knuckles, and Knuckles, and Knuckles. Okay. And Knuckles, and Knuckles, and Knuckles, and Knuckles, and Knuckles. Um, he's got this comic he's been working on for like 20 million years uh, that features all of his... Uh, Knuckles the Echidna OC characters with their original names and Knuckles himself renamed and the uh, the the understood legal agreement between him and Sega is he can do this as long as he makes them visually distinct from the Sonic style and he has done so by turning him into the most horrible abominations uh, imaginable did he draw them uh, himself? Did he what? Did he draw those horrible Yes, he did draw them himself. That explains it. Um, he did, in fact, draw them himself, because Ken was also an artist on the Archie comics. Um, his art was never stellar, but I don't know what happened to him. It's definitely worse than it used to be. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I mean, if but, he's doing uh, it all himself. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, oh boy. Everything <laughs> about Ken Penders is just utterly bizarre to me. Uh, hi there, chat members, Sonic Gabe 10. Have uh -oh. we attracted you like a moth to flame with our Sonic talk? Oh yeah, is it because I'm uh, I'm going on endlessly about Ken Penders? <laughs> As I can do. Okay, like, I'm back. Is is Stoker talking about Ken Penders again? So um, Ken Penders, <laughs> <laughs> not Ken Masters. Don't get confused with them too. <laughs> or as I prefer to refer to him, Ken fucking Penders. <laughs> oh, don't hold back, Stoker. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> anyway, so what got me on this track in the first place? No. Sega could still use Sally if they wanted to, but they have so much bad blood over everything that went down with Archie that the understanding that most people have is that at this time, they simply want to distance themselves from anything that was connected to that era. Yeah. Here's Tucker. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this horrible picture. It's in the it's in the chat in the Discord chat. Of uh, I googled Sally Acorn movie style, and I think this is ah. I think this, I think <laughs> I think this was bashed together from like part of the of the Chipmunks. Yes, that is absolutely one of the Alvin and the Chipmunks posters. I recognized <laughs> it from when I was working at the theater. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right. I mean, that's what she would look like, you know. I mean, that's, that's no. canon now. Yeah, that's what she'd no. look like. That's... No. Yep. No. Yes. I refuse. I said I refu so. That makes... Get behind Sorry. me, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> and unleash your hellish canon on Jumlin. <laughs> what, what if, like, okay, what if... What if she was in the sequel, but she was, like, like, like six inches tall? She was like, I love you, you know, like, like, she's... <laughs> Can you say that again, Jonas? I need to no. hear your Sally voice. No, I can never say that again. Lucky <laughs> find. Anyway, like, get away from me, you little creature. He'll never make the mistake a second time. Exactly. I got Personally, 
personally, and some people may call me a crazy optimist for this, personally, I think they will eventually bring her back. And yeah. the reasons for that are many-fold. Uh, reason for not, that is money. Yes, money fold. Moneyfold. But uh, she's the single most well-known character in the Sonic franchise who never appeared in a Sonic game, unless you count that one tiny little cameo in Sonic Spinball. I can, uh, okay. I can see them bringing back Sally if they bring back the the Freedom Fighters, but that depends entirely on what direction they go. Well, world. the other thing is that uh, I feel like Ian their Holm, chance for that was in Sonic Forces. Well, I mean, Sonic Forces was like the the most obviously Satam inspired Sonic game they've ever done. Yeah, but um, I also know that uh, Ian Holm, who is still writing Sonic the Hedgehog comics, I think I mean Ian Flynn. Ian Holm. Oh yeah, you're right. Ian Holm was freaking Bilbo, wasn't he? <laughs> Go on. Listen, listen. Back when Ian, Ian Bilbo Baggins was writing Sonic the Hedgehog comics. <laughs> That's his name, Ian Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> Ian Flynn. <laughs> Look what you've done to me, Jonas. This yeah, is your it's fault. not my fault. <laughs> um, he's still writing Sonic comics officially. Um... He just now writes them for, um, uh, whatchamacallum. IDW? Yes, IDW. Thank you. I couldn't remember their name. IDW instead of, um, Archie, of Ian, because, you know. Instead of Ian Holm. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jonas. <laughs> thank you, Jonas. <laughs> You're such a helpful person, Jonas. Hey, man, no, I'm helping. You're mine. You're it. Yeah. Um... Fuck was I saying? <laughs> About Ian Flynn is still writing for IDW, and he openly, openly says uh, that he has interest in bringing back the Freedom Fighters. They would not be exactly the same in terms of their origin because the IDW continuity is very different from the Archie one. Uh, think- but he has seeded a couple of things that would allow him a back door to do it, essentially. I think it would be a good opportunity to, like, hand-pick things that were good from the Archie years and, like, yes. mercifully jettison the things that were not so good! Yeah. Yes. I mean, they I, uh, could just as easily say they're the Freedom Fighters from an alternate universe, not the one that was on Sadam. No. Uh, maybe, thing. but, I mean, they, they've already established, because the, um... The thing about the IDW universe is that um, the most recent Sonic game that had been released just before the IDW comics started was, in fact, Sonic Forces. So that gave them a chance to kind of have uh, an almost Freedom Fighter-ish setup in it. Um, So it really wouldn't take much effort. Uh, to transplant them to IDW, and he even came up with this uh, this concept that could uh, allow him to get uh, Bunny Rabot in, because um, you know there's no such thing as roboticization in the IDW comics. Um, he doesn't. You know that was <laughs> that, that was, was kind of a uh, that was kind of a '90s ish concept. You know, the whole like your your face is a '90s concept. That's rude. Yeah, it's a little weird to talk about it as like a horror concept today because I think the idea of cyborgification is uh, romanticized a lot more today. Well, you know, okay, you had like evil cyborgs in the '80s and '90s because at that point, you know, um, it was it was kind of like you know, it was it kind of was kind of in line with like the whole idea of like you know, it, industry and technology are are potentially anti-human like do you get the point of what i'm trying to make it's like yeah it, well, well sonic so. the, the sonic fat am was like very uh not so subtly like about yeah, you know environmental yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. and um well i mean you also had enemies like the, the cybermen and the borg you know it was this idea of like oh no humanity's lost in all of the machine blah blah you know so like you know roboticization is like they're like technological zombies you know yeah but um, 
he he did this he came up with a uh, a different way to work something kind of like that in this uh dr robotnik create or excuse me dr eggman because they haven't used the r name in the uh, idw comics yet that i can recall uh but eggman created this thing called the metal virus which was uh, literally just a virus that anything, any living thing that it infected would slowly turn them into, like, a mindless metal zombie. Right. Isn't uh, that an SCP? Uh, I mean, maybe. <laughs> Probably, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sonic, uh, Sonic Contain Protect. <laughs> but, uh... Sonic that was, uh, Sonic Knuckles. <laughs> Thank you, Jonas. What what would I do without you, Jonas? <laughs> but um, make someone else your target. In the name of Hades. Yeah, where was the uh, fuck at? But uh, yeah, that thing uh, that thing makes a uh, a good backdoor for getting uh, Bunny Rabot back in. Yes, it does. So, yeah. I don't know if we need to, you know, another rehash of the characters again. I mean, I feel yes, like... we do. Okay, fine. We need Sally back and Bunny. Hey, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, Stoker. I'm sure your wife will be back any day now. She'll be exactly what you want her to be. You mean naked? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like all of those Sonic characters. Yes, just like me. Who's ever naked? <laughs> Didn't she only wear an open vest all the time anyway? And boots. No, just had boots. Oh, okay, boots, but this is right. the thing. This is the thing. This is another consequence of Ken Penders that I can Ken Penders fuckery that I can never forgive him for. Um it's just like after the the, this it's like an onion. I never stop being um oniony about it. Um <laughs> <laughs> So when he basically, uh, when the, the suit against him was thrown out in court, uh, Archie realized, because their, their contract still had some life in it with Sega, they, uh, they didn't immediately shut down those comics overnight. Archie was like, shit, we have to remove every character that Ken Penders has ever contributed to these comics from these comics. Legally, we can't use any of them anymore. So, they did a full, like, DC-style universe reboot thing. Uh, and in the process, they also redesigned pretty much the entire Freedom Fighter cast to be more in line with Sega's style. Uh, the end Sally result got, like, being... Huh? Sally got, like, arm blades and shit. She did get arm blades, which were cool. But they also put clothes on her. <laughs> <laughs> because Sega always has their, their, their male characters are nudists and their female characters are clothesists. That's a word. That's a word. Nobody call me on that. That's a word. Not that! Jonas? Just How told dare you. you defy me! You're a lying liar pants. Well, first of all, bold of you to assume I'm wearing pants. Second of all. It's just the You're bad? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, they they made her they made her put clothes on, which is the, the thing I can Which never... is completely unforgivable. It's barbaric. It is unforgivable. Though it is a cute outfit, but it's unforgivable. <laughs> hey, sir, I thought this might ease your burden for a while. <laughs> now, hold a Rick will back me up on this. Something like this. <laughs> Not without giving back a little Am I wrong? Time, is that unforgivable, Rick? Yes. See? <laughs> Rick's like, whatever yeah. I have to say to get Stoker to stop talking about <laughs> 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 uh, Rick, you for that, maybe you sir. saw this already. I think you can give the nectar to the boulder. 
Maybe? I think I saw someone doing that. I know you can give it to Sisyphus, but I've never seen you be able to give it to the boulder. Yeah, I... Maybe I'm wrong. I, th I thought I saw someone giving it actually to the boulder. And Sisyphus is like, Boldy thanks you. Boldy thanks you. Boldy well, I kind of wish that was a thing if it's not now. Here you are. Good. Arcusville says you can nectar the boulder later. Later. <laughs> but I want to nectar That's the boulder why? now. Nectar the boulder sounds like innuendo. Like, hey, you know what I do last night? That's what I'm I, trying to figure out. I'm like, are you making a joke here? Or I nectar the a boulder. <laughs> I nectar the boulder real good. Help. That's You're all perverts. Yeah. I'll take this one. And yes, I know, pot, kettle, all that. <laughs> Ooh, sunk a treasure. It's high tide. To you as well, Charon. Oh, um, hi there. <laughs> Wait, that's. Oh, finally. I've been waiting for this. Really? Oh, it's a different fury. You must be one of Megara's lovely sisters. I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Waiting for what exactly? So sick of, you know, doing my regular job uninterrupted. Not having to clean up Meg's messes. Oh, did they? Ne oh, yeah, it's Electo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is how they keep you from being tired of having to face the same boss over and over if you are having difficulty facing stuff after it, is they start mixing up the bosses. Hey, Jonas, should I tell everyone the, uh, the, the secret? No. Oh, okay. Well, that answers that. <laughs> She's getting angry. Okay, so I'm gonna tell everyone the secret. <laughs> this is only going to matter if any of you read uh, the comic, uh, the the Penny comic. Okay. Uh, I named the trio of characters that are bad influences on Penny. Uh, their names are references to the Furies. Uh, hmm. Tiffany is Tisiphany, uh, Alexa is Electo, and Megan is Megara. Nice. That's where I got Everyone's it. gonna say that it's a Hades reference. Well, you know <laughs> what? Uh, they can go to, uh, heck. <laughs> Penny's Persephone. No, not. Penny's Persephone. Yeah, she's Pensephone. Yes, thank you. You know. You know, uh, Pensephone. And set me the particular. <laughs> yeah, Selecto is also hard. Mm. And now she has rage. So now every time she attacks, she also releases blade vortexes and more projectiles. That's rude. <laughs> Keep walking back and forth over the traps. You're walking over the traps is one thing, it's getting hit by them is a problem. <laughs> no, I, I meant I I saw her getting hit by it and it looked like it was doing decent damage. Oh yeah. Woo! 
Ooh, she. I think she's got infinite rage. Oh. Ace. Nice, you got our first try. I don't like her very much. <laughs> Electro Don't mind me, father. Battered Shaggle attack special and cast each deal plus 50% damage while not empowered by a boon. So that's good to start out with. Yep. That's usually one you would always get rid of by the time you're through Tartarus. Uh, Soaker, what did you say you named the character that was named after Electo again? Uh, Alexa. Okay. Why do you ask? I, I thought it was going to be Alexis. Oh. No, I wanted them to be, like, modern-sounding names that were, like... I didn't want it to be super, super obvious. I kind of wanted it to be an Easter egg for uh, anyone who was... Uh, okay. I say that because I know I've known an Alexis who is the closest thing I've ever seen in real life to a true villain. <laughs> to call her well, a bitch uh, is an understatement. This place has definitely seen better days. Oh, nice. Well, unfortunately, or perhaps fortunately, I didn't know your villain. Yeah, you're very fortunate in that. So I couldn't, uh, I couldn't name her after that. Oh yeah, there was one thing I wanted to say about the Sonic talk earlier, and yeah. while it is unfortunate that we are not going to get KP characters or uh, Saturn characters also haven't been included yet, I, I am still okay with the characters they've come up with their own right, specifically Tangle. Oh, like and Whisper and Tangle? Yeah, God, I love Whisper and Tangle. I love them so much more than I expected to. I want them to get married. <laughs> I mean, there's a chance. There is a chance. I mean, Ian was already trying to uh, do that with Sally and Nicole before the uh, Archie comic was canceled. Oh yeah, I saw, although I don't pay attention to the Sonic comics, um, I saw artwork going around. I said, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, Whisper, they're, they're so good. They're so good. They're so pure. They're so wonderful. I do I'm still so love saying that the first time they've ever gotten 3D art was for a mobile game. Yeah, well, that's that's still more than <laughs> still more than Sal and Company got. Yeah, that's true. I know. Yeah, yeah, they're not in that game, are they? No, not so far. There was a uh, a Twitter thing where people were trying to uh, campaign for their inclusion. It was called uh, or her inclusion specifically. It was called Rally for Sally. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, thus far, has not uh, effectively gotten her included, have to say. Have to say. But, uh, we'll see. Rally. It is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. But you know what they say. Kumbaya. Have a get to? Uh, uh, sure, that's what they say. I'm sure someone says it. 
Miller I'm, just said it. Hello, Hermes. I'm pretty sure Swahili's say it like every Sunday. Every Sunday? It's, it's Baba Yetu means Lord's Prayer. It's not because I was late. Baba Yetu Yetu Te Ituni Yetu Etu Yetina. Baba Yetu Etu Yate. Uh, I can't remember the last part. Miller is so linguistic. It's true. Uh, definitely a, say that as praise. Big praise. <laughs> As made famous by the Civilization Forge soundtrack, uh, <laughs> in which it is the only song that, the only video game song that has been nominated, and then also the only one that has won a Grammy. I did not, in fact, know that. I wonder what else I don't know. No, that was it. Oh, okay. Cool! Well, I can finally rest at ease. You are finally all-knowing. Congratulations. Here's your free certificate. Hell yeah! I cannot wait to wave this in Jonas' face! <laughs> we'll be sending you an email in the next couple of days where you can order a frame online for $29.95 plus shipping and handling. What a deal! Is this a pitch? <laughs> Watch your language, young man. Uh, pitch. It's just me being upset when I got my degree, and they were just like, "Yeah, hey, you want to buy a frame for it? We sell them for one hundred thirty dollars." I'm like, "No, I'm not paying one hundred thirty dollars for a frame for a plastic frame." Was it plastic? It was plastic. It I was like at least giving you a metal one for that. That it, money. It had the it had the school's name on it, and that's what that's it. That's, um... Um... Like bullshit? Yeah, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. That is the shit of the bull, son. Why, it's the barge of death. This is some bovine poopy. <laughs> some bovine poopy! A plus that bovine poopy. That is some nice poop. poop. No, I spent thirty dollars and I got a wooden one. Wouldn't you know? And now it. it hangs above my computer. I'm empty. Oh, what kind of university offers plastic frames? An engineering university, which is the weirdest thing. I would have expected to have like a brushed steel frame or something for $130. Yeah, that's good. So much letting of blood, so much of it your own. It's absurd. The kind of person who graduates from college and spends $130 on a plastic frame is the kind of person who didn't learn anything at college. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Jonas. I mocked you while you were gone. You're welcome. To fight. <laughs> Jonas is like, oh, only once? That's below expectations. Yeah. Mm. 
how those fiends get out. I would have expected them to give you the materials to make your own frame. Oh, no, 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 no. I got an engineering degree. I study theory. I I come up with the idea. Somebody else builds it. I don't know how to put this shit together myself. <laughs> hey, Miller, do you want to see the bar stool I've been working on as practice for Blender? I guess. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let me find the most recent render I did of it. Much better. I like how you're practicing all your techniques on a bar stool. I had a work friend what? who was recently uh, practicing a bunch of different techniques trying to make a couch. Because he's trying to make one for VR chat, and he's like, it's actually very hard to make a couch look good. <laughs> well, the bar stool is for, um, it's, it's for Penny. But, um, but it was a good opportunity to, like, practice node stuff, which is what this is, basically. Should come in mm -hmm. useful. Like, principled shaders and. Me 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 mentalicity and specularity and stuff like that. Mentalicity. Those are words. <laughs> Metallicness. Yeah. Metallica. Te yes, met practice yeah, Metallica. Yeah, like Metallica. Well, at least I got the Hydra again, but I'm not going to be able to beat them. <laughs> oh, we're going to be so sure about that. I've definitely gone through Hydra and no damage. You got 74 health, you're fine. Your main thing is going to be is that he he keeps swapping back and forth between the slam attack and then that attack where he shoots projectiles. In the later phases, he just slams three times and then shoots a whole bunch of projectiles. If you stand behind those torches, those two torches there in the middle, you, you just let the projectiles just hit them. Yeah, it's this phase that's the issue, though. Yeah, this is the phase where things get a little manic. You're gonna want to hit those eggs before they pop. Oh no, maybe. Oh, I was gonna say, maybe Hydra? Nope. Little skeletons. Little schmelatons. Oh, skeleton schmelatons, huh? Hey, boy, Ellie, don't you insult my kind like that, none. <laughs> I'm trying to do a skelly, I'm not very good. It's okay. I understand. Hey, hey. Alright, now hide. Curved around it. If you hide up right against it, they won't be able to curve tight enough. Nice. And you just need to dodge the slam. The slam will go through the pillar because he reaches far enough. That one, though. Oh. Slam. Oh, just about to hit midnight. Do you want to do anything before we go? I hate that Hydra. <laughs> I hate that Hydra. Oh, I hate that West Goey Hydra. Blood and darkness. <laughs> this place is falling apart. Nobody works an honest day down here. Father, everybody's dead. Give them a break. What would you even know of honest work? 
At least the wretched dead yet honor me as lord. I cannot say the same for you. You are the best, you know that, don't you? Wilbur says you should MR redeems. Yeah, that's up to Rick, though. The hellish watchdog snarls at the listless shades crowding about the court. Um, Achilles, sir. There's something I've been wondering about your codex. The words are yours, and yet it's through my actions that I'm able to absorb them. Is that how mortal scriptures always work? Ah. Uh, you have to understand, lad. I've been here in your father's realm for quite some time. My documented learnings became bound to me, much like the spear, you see. You can undo those bindings over time. Thus, my knowledge can be yours. Whatever it amounts to. I see. I think. I'm grateful for it, sir. What's wrong with it? Work is approved upon my father's name. Not like he's paying any heed. You are distracting me. That room to the northeast of Achilles, is there... Are all those statues just decorative, or are they things? I think they're yeah, all decorative. I haven't awesome. seen... I've gotten two Hades, and I haven't seen anything, uh... And then all seven of those wretches... With them, yeah. the front of the procession line. Can you believe the nerve? As though they'd get an audience that way. <laughs> what a bunch of dummies! What were they even thinking, cutting the line? I mean, in front of you? Let's just say if they still have any complaints for our Lord Hades, they'll be waiting for a long, long time before they get the chance to bring them up. Ladies' night, I guess. Or day. I don't know. What did you hear? I do like the idea of Meg and Tusa just gals being pals. <laughs> Tusa's so cute, I love her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, they're even doing like that. They should show like plushies of her. Mix isn't around. I'm surprised they don't. I just realized <laughs> that. I just realized Deuce was little, uh, whispering. Little Deuce of plushie sitting on your desk or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now there's some results. In, in the Googles. Nothing official, but yeah, there's definitely ones you could buy. All right, get on that. Hey, pal, watch where you throw those bloodstone things of yours. You drop them, you go pick them up, you understand? But if somebody gives you grief, you got my permission to chuck one right in his eye. I'll just aim generally for the midsection, since the eyes are a lot harder to hit in my experience. Oh. <laughs> Let's try it. Exegriff, the rail of adamant. Annihilate all who oppose me. Okay. Okay, if that has it. You've got the magical power of gun. The greatest magic of all. <laughs> Alright, I found one. And I linked it in Discord. Oh, that one's really good. It's also very big. Uh, if you watch the video through, somebody holds it. It's like a foot tall. You mean that? So it's life size. <laughs> yeah, it's like life size. Nope. Nobody appreciates my head as a foot joke. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I do, Stoker. Nah. <laughs> We, we have to maintain the industry standard of 99% approval rating, so sometimes we have to forcibly not like a joke. You know how it is. Alright, I understand. Got it. You remember, Stoker. I mean, standards are what set us apart from the animals. <laughs> or funny animals. Whatever. Zagreus gets to, the, <laughs> gets to the end, and he's like, Father, I'm going to defeat you with the power of the gods and this gun I found. <laughs> <laughs> His guns are just, like, the new next thing for God now. I love it. This is this makes no sense whatsoever, and I love it. Is Did you kill Skelly? 
He's coming back. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Can anyone really kill Skelly? Watch Skelly's coming back. We'll boss. have to actually look at that next time because it's midnight. God. Oh, so <laughs> All right. Okay. Something to look forward to. Oh, oh, yeah, oh there's a thing on the desk. You have a prophecy you could pick up there, Rick. Oh. It's only a matter of time, I suppose. Infernal arms, you've unlocked all the weapons. Nice to have my ancient Yay. weapons there. I mean, if Link can have a bike, Zagreus can have a gun. I mean, Link can always have a bike. Give but the Zagreus fact that Link a can bike. have a motorcycle. Oh my god! Zagreus does need a bike. I'll be excited to see the result. At first glance, I thought the bird gun was a bike. <laughs> Would Zagreus have like a big. Like a uh, chopper with like eight bars and stuff, or would he have like a sleek Akira bike? No, nah, it would definitely be a chopper. It'd be like a, like a bat out of hell Milo bike, you know? All right, all right, yeah. And he'd have like he'd have a gun, <laughs> and he'd have, he'd just, have like a like a fender strap his back. Just straight up Ghost Rider's bike. And then he like he like <laughs> put on a Hachimaki like Kung Fury and just start beating the shit out of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd pull a and just start beating them with the bike. Exactly. <laughs> so, it's for, it's the synth yeah, you, anyway, you go all warrior Dante on them, and you just pick the bike up and start swinging them at them. Hey, Dante did that. <laughs> yeah, in the Inferno, there was that famous scene where Virgil started. Anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> yes, that that Dante Jonas. That is definitely the yeah. Dante that we're talking about. I mean, yeah. Dante, the one from Dante's Inferno, the Inferno special, <laughs> especially about Dante. I mean, given you know, we're in the underworld. <laughs> they got to visit rock and roll, cool style, and yeah, guns and guns and rock. They guns they and roses. Guns and roses. Yeah. Oh, wow. So close. <laughs> So close, Jeezy. All right. All right. <laughs> that was good. Time to get out yeah. of Rick's house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time to get out of Rick's house. Rick is like, all right, everybody out. Party's all over. Right. <laughs> Especially that Canadian. Let's get out of the mountain. Uh, all right. Well, have a good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. See you next time. Have a good night, everyone. Good night.